Welcome to Church at Home with Rachel for Tuesday, the 17th of January. Glad to have you here with me today. My name is Rachel Parker. My pronouns are she and her. I am an Anglican priest, and I am the rector or the priest responsible for the parish called Day Springs Ministries, which is a collaboration of three churches, St. Mary's in Edgerton, St. Saviour's in Vermilion, and St. Thomas in Wainwright, in the beautiful Diocese of Edmonton in Alberta, Canada, and um, for the Anglican Church of Canada. Now, normally I have a bit more light on, but for when I'm when I'm when I'm filming, but I'm trying to trying to do something with a candle today, um, and I'm not sure it's going to work, but I'm going to do my best because uh, it's not pitch black in here, and if it was, I wouldn't be able to see what I was doing anyway. So, just use your imagination. I've been every morning. I get up um, Monday through Friday at about six o'clock, and I come into my office and get ready for my day, make a coffee and come in and just sit and pray. And for the first probably half an hour, I pray in the dark um, with just a candle burning. During Advent, I use my Advent wreath and Christmas, um, but just candle or candles burning and allowing myself to, to just be in that gentle light as outside my window, it's still pitch black. And as the morning goes on, um, then the sunrise starts to come up. I face sort of an east, I'm an eastern facing office here, so I get to see the sun coming up every morning, and it's absolutely breathtaking. But when I light that candle, because I'm trying to do so very discreetly and not sort of wake myself up with bright lights, just trying to be very calm, I usually come in and I grab my lighter. I have my um, my Edmonton Oilers lighter here. Go Oilers, go! And I light my candle. there. And at first it's just a little bit of light, but then once it takes takes root, it really adds up a lot of light. It really it really lights up the area around it and it reminds me of the power of a single spark. This is just one candle. It's not a big candle. It's like a dinner taper, I guess, or some kind of candle like that. It's a candle that that light that does exactly what it's supposed to do. It it adds light. And as a matter of fact, there are some days when the office is so cold when it's like minus 40 out that this little candle actually emits enough warmth that I don't get warm by it, obviously, but it reminds me as it's sitting on a table that my husband made for me, um, as I'm praying, I have my eyes closed. It reminds me of the presence of God. It reminds me that, that, that warmth and that comfort that's right there. And because my eyes are closed, it seems to be just just out there, but it's so beautiful. It reminds me that I am never alone, that I am never truly, truly in the dark, because all it takes is a little candle. And then that made me think the other day, I was when I lit my candle, I realized that as it sort of flashed and then the light sort of began to dissolve the darkness, I got thinking about the power of light. You know, you think we don't think about it probably much anymore. You walk in the house, you turn on your lights, you flip a switch, the lights come on, electricity goes out. Maybe you get a generator. You you know, fire up your generator, the lights come back on. Sometimes it takes not having a generator and the lights going out in the middle of a storm for us to realize just how important light is, and how powerful such light like a candle, a candle light can be. Have you ever noticed what happens when you light a candle, or turn on a flashlight? in a dark room. It's almost like the darkness is absorbed in the light. Where that candle is, the darkness disappears. It's not like a fight where the darkness is creeping up on the candle and trying to, you know, eliminate the light. Now, if I do this, you can't see it. But when I light my hand, when I do this, my my fingers actually get, you can see light through them. Light can't be extinguished by darkness. The dark, no matter how dark I make this room, I could pull down the blinds, I could pile blankets around myself, and as long as this candle is lit, there is still going to be light. Not until I actually extinguish the light itself will there be complete and utter darkness. There might be lots of darkness, but where I'm standing, where I'm holding the candle, there will be light. Around me, there will be light. Darkness cannot extinguish light. It's kind of a cool thing, isn't it? No matter how dark something gets, 
where light is present, the darkness cannot cancel out the light. And yet, where darkness exists, when we enter in with light, the light does extinguish the darkness. I love that. For me, that's a really powerful piece of wisdom and acknowledgement. There are lots of times in my life when I have felt overwhelmed by darkness. When I know, in my head, I know that all I need to do is light a candle. All I need to do is say a prayer. All I need to do is go and ask someone else to do those things for me. When I am so far gone that I can't light a candle or say a prayer for myself, I know there are people who will do it for me. And yet there are times when I am so like, oh, I can't do this. I can't even imagine getting up the energy to do that. The darkness is so overwhelming. And yet every time I have been in the situation where that darkness was so overwhelming that I couldn't even get the energy to go and find a candle to light or to ask somebody to pray for me, something happened. Maybe not right away, but a person would come or call me out of the blue, knock on my door and just say, how how are you doing? All of a sudden, someone else would come into my light, into my life like a light, bringing hope and peace and joy and, and bringing me a candle, metaphorically maybe, but reminding me that where the candle is, oh, no, that's not going to work. Where the candle is, light exists. Where light exists, darkness cannot overcome me. And so that's why it's so important. That's why I've got candles all around me. It's a reminder to me that no matter how dark things get, all I need to do is to light a candle, to to bring in a little bit of light or ask someone else to, or simply allow someone else to bring some light into my life. And it may not be overwhelming. It may not be stage lights. It may not be stadium lights that then completely dispel all the darkness. But even just one single candle power can dispel the darkness enough that I can begin to see. And when I can see, I can hope. And when I can hope, I can dream. And when I can dream, I can remember all of those hopes and dreams in the past that have come true. Those times when it was difficult before, and yet I was able to survive. Those times when I felt like I was being overwhelmed, suffocated by darkness And someone came in and struck a match, lit a candle, started a spark that brought me up out of the depths of despair and helped me to move forward knowing that even in the darkest night, the dark is not night, the dark is not dark to God. Psalm 139. I recommend you look it up. It's really a beautiful psalm. It's one of my go-to psalms, as a matter of fact, has been for a very long time. So if you're feeling like you're overwhelmed and in the dark this week, light a candle. Especially, you know, if you light a candle in a dark room, just to see what happens. See what happens to the darkness. Light another candle and another. Put them in different corners of the room and see what happens to the darkness. Light will chase out the dark. Just as God's love will chase out the darkness in your heart, the sorrow will be replaced by joy. Hope will will overcome despair. The light will overcome the darkness. I pray that you will have many lights lighting up your life today. And if possible, I pray that you will go and be a candle in someone else's life. Thank you for being candles in mine. Have a great day. God bless you. And I will see you again tomorrow for Church at Home with Rachel.